for installing mongodb we have to just type mongodb download and we will get this first link download my mongodb community server we need to click on this and just we can, you can go with any other browser also just need to type mongodb and you will get this page now according to your operating system you will select here the, if your operating system is window then you have to select with windows otherwise you will stick with the other operating system which you have so in my system it's windows so i'll select with it so this is the way how we can download we will click on this download automatically downloading process will start and we will get a downloaded file here it will take some time and after some time we will be able to install mongodb in our system if you are not getting here the file here you need to then go to the downloads and you will find that file you just double click on this and just installation on your system will be started of mongodb it is a mongodb download after that we need to download one mongodb shell also but first we will try to download mongodb just you need to click on it you will just click you will click on these things i accept and then the next button nothing new about it you want to complete or custom that depends on you we will go with the complete yes we will click on it and then we can click if you want uh, which type of you you need to click on that then you have to just go with it need not to type anything because this is a standalone system and you need to practice on mongodb commands and all so we will work as a run service as a network service user so you need not to you know click on anywhere here just you, if you want you have to ch you know change the path and all then you can change otherwise by default take it as it is so click on the next again the next and it will say automatically your mongodb compass will be installed the previous button was for that just to click on the next installation button and the installation will take some time as i told you earlier it will take depends on your internet speed in your pc or in your laptop or whether whatever machine you have so it depends totally depends on your internet speed so now the installation it will ask you for some you know some uh, authorization and all you will click on yes and the installation process will be started now it is installing some files which is required for the mongodb and all and it will take some time for installation so you need to have patience sometimes it is in a second and sometimes it takes some minutes so be patient while installation of mongodb it's copying the new files and all so it will take time so after you know all the process then it will say that mongodb has been successfully completed now you will see finish button will be there and you have to click on this finish button automatically you will be able to see on the screen the compass is enabled now you if when you click on this you will click on finish you will see mongodb compass is there if it is not there sometimes it happens it is not there by default you have not click on the launch mongodb compass after installation so what you have to do no don't worry about it you have to just click on the start button then you just type here mongodb compass and when you click on this and you will see the first option is the mongodb compass and when you click on the mongodb compass you will be able to find this screen this is how we can install mongodb compass that is installation and downloading process first to download and then to install mongodb compass but for working purpose for mongodb to be worked or to create the collections the document inside it we need to have to install mongodb shell also so how to install that we will work with the google chrome and we will just type mongodb instead of download this time we are saying mongodb shell download that's it now when we click on this we will get a link and we will see in the process by which we were able to download the mongodb compass it is on the same you know website just go with the mongodb shell this time and just you need to click on the download option again it is it depends on the operating system which you have in your system if you are having a operating system linux or mac then you will choose according to that in my system it's window so i will go with the window operating system just you have to click on the download then automatically as mongodb compass was downloaded in this way it will download and then what are the next steps to do we will do that also so a zip file will be opened and there will be a one zip file we need to extract this zip file for mongodb shell installation after downloading mongodb shell we will find a mongodb shell zip file in download folder so we need to right click here we will right click and we will say extract all 
we need to extract it you can extract on the same position or you can extract it on the different folder so I'm going to extract here what we need to every time whenever there is a zip file we need to extract it before the actual installation now we have downloaded and we have extracted now what is next we have to double click on this we have to click on the bin and we have to just click on this and we have to click on right click either we can do with the copy as path or we can take the path from this location so I'm cho choosing copy as path and first step what we have to do we have to go to the edit variable in your by clicking on the window button on your keyboard just click on environment variable because we need to put the path of that we will click on this you know system variable and then we will say double click or either you can click on double click and new or you can create the new file if in my system it is already there if you want to create new you will click on the new and you will just paste that position now you need to delete the existing one because you can't you know put the two parts of the same so I'll delete this with the delete button now you need to move up you can take it as it is but it is good to take it up and then press an ok and then click on the ok button yes then ok almost everything we have done we have set that with you know environment variable one thing you have to always remember whenever you are going to install anything you need to you know set the environment variables so now what you will do you will just double click on it and one window will be there and we need it will say like this it is protected or something if you have an antivirus or some application over there so you need to click on more and then you have to say run anyway now after that a window a black screen because it's a CUI that is console user interface it will show you this like this and this time what you have to do you have to go with it and you have to just say type a command that is called as mongo m o n g o mongo s h that's it when I press and enter automatically I'll get a link and automatically my Mongo shell is connected with the compass now so I will be able to connect my compass with it now if I click on the compass and I just click on the you know local host if it is there if it is not there because I have already used a compass and all that's why it is showing like that for the new connection you need to click on add connection you can click on this and you need to just click on the connect that's it and your MongoDB connection will be there see the first connection is here and the second connection I have created is this if you don't want this type of because you have already you can remove it or you can you know put it as it is so I, I want only one connection so by default this will be the window of your MongoDB compass and now your connection is established with your shell and now you will be able to create the you know databases that is you can say collection in case of MongoDB now it's ready to create because I have created this person you will not find in your whenever you are you know working with I just drop it because I have used this MongoDB earlier that's why it is there otherwise when you have a fresh screen you will just see these three system you know databases that is system based collections so here everything will be on basis of collections so this was all about MongoDB installation downloading process installation process MongoDB shell download and install now your MongoDB is ready to work so hope you this video you find useful and if really you find this useful please put a thumbs up and share this video subscribe my channel meet you in next video